Hey, what's up you guys? Putting a trailer hitch on your Subaru Legacy can take you to some really cool places, whether it be through bike riding, camping, or even towing a small U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tool seen here to complete this installation. So our vehicle comes with a dual exhaust. If you have a single exhaust, it'll just be here on the driver's side. Now, for all of our steps for the installation, it is identical on the passenger and the driver's side. So we'll be showing you all of our steps here. But we'll need to start by lowering our exhaust. So if you have the fascia exhaust tips on your vehicle, we'll need to remove those. They're held in by two bolts at the bottom here and a clip up top. We're gonna remove those bolts using a 10 millimeter socket. So to take off the clip at the top, we're just gonna reach up behind it and we're gonna pull up on the tab and that will allow us to remove it. And you'll repeat on the passenger side if present. Now before we lower our exhaust, we're gonna secure it using a support strap. We're just gonna go around this support right here. And then we'll secure it around our exhaust. Now we're gonna remove the rubber hangers on our exhaust. On each muffler, there's one towards the rear of the vehicle and one towards the front. And there's a third one towards the center of our vehicle, if you just follow right down here. So we're gonna start on the forward hanger on the muffler. We're gonna spray it with some soapy water and then we'll remove it using our exhaust removal pliers. And we'll do the same with the rear hanger. If you have the dual exhaust, you'll repeat on the passenger side, and then we'll move up to the center hanger. We're going to need as much room as possible above our muffler, so we're gonna lower this as much as we can. Now we're gonna need to remove our heat shield. It's held in by four screws and we're gonna remove those using a 10 millimeter socket. And you'll repeat on the passenger side if present. Now on both sides of our frame rails, we're going to remove the two plastic plugs on each side. Now this rear hole is going to be an attachment hole and this forward hole is going to be an access hole. Now we're gonna to need to drill this a little bit bigger so we can get our hardware into place and we're gonna drill a second hole once we have our hitch into place on our frame rail. So let's start by removing these plugs. So we're gonna use our access hole to bring our hardware into place using a fish wire technique. But as you can see, our hardware does not fit through our access hole, so we'll need to enlarge it. We're gonna use an air saw to expand the hole. Now we're gonna test our hardware, which just fits perfectly. Now using our provided fish wires, we're going to bring our hardware into our most rear hole. We're gonna take our fish wire and push the coiled in first, and it'll come out of the access hole. Then we'll attach our carriage bolt and block. And then we'll push our block in first then our bolt, and then we'll pull it into place. And we'll leave our fish wire on for now, and then we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now we're gonna bring our hitch into place using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have a hitch jack, we do recommend that you get an extra set of hands, as this hitch is a little heavy. Now before we raise it up, we're gonna take our fish wires and put them through the two rear holes. Now we're gonna remove our fish wire, and then we're gonna attach our provided carriage block and our flange nut, and then we'll repeat on the passenger side. So now we're gonna to move to our forward most hole. Now we're gonna to need to drill that hole to bring our hardware into place. So we're gonna drill it using our hitch as a template using a 17 30 seconds drill bit. <laughs> Now 
Now we're gonna make sure that our bolt fits through. And now using our fish wire, we'll bring our hardware into place. And then we'll remove our fish wire and then we'll attach our provided flange nut. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now we're gonna tighten and torque all of our bolts to the manufacturer specification. We'll be using a 19 millimeter socket for all of our nuts. And it helps to use a five inch extension. Next, we're going to modify our heat shield to allow it to fit with the hitch in place. So we mar went ahead and marked off where we need to cut on our heat shield right on the side. This is what covers the frame rail. And we're gonna go ahead and cut those using some tin snips. Now we're going to reinstall our heat shields. Now we're gonna reinstall our exhaust by putting our hangers back on and we're going to reinstall our fascia exhaust tips if you have them. With our hitch installed, we went ahead and pulled it down onto level ground to show you some important measurements for your hitch accessories. This is a two inch receiver. From the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is two inches. And from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is 10 inches. This will determine the length, rise and drop for your hitch accessories. So that wraps up our install and our video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this product or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.